So in conclusion, I'd like to offer three brief takeaways, one for each of the three lessons I've learned in my journey so far. As you recall, lesson one was guns are normal and normal people use guns. The takeaway from this is we need to resist the efforts out there to stigmatize guns and gun owners, and we do this best by showing the positive face of gun culture to the world. Smashing TVs with sledgehammers and burning newspapers may solidify the base, but it does nothing to convey to those outside the hardcore of the 2A bubble that gun owners are normal. In counteracting those who wish to stigmatize guns and gun owners, disarm them of their stereotypes by being courteous and respectful, even in the face of hostility. So to quote Annette Evans, who's quoting Tiffany Johnson and Akhil Kadir, who's quoting Tony Simon of the 2A, second is for everyone, meet people at 60%. It's not enough to get up to that middle ground between you and someone else. Put a hand across that line and genuinely try to connect with compassion and humility because it's another human being over there. When we do that, we find true commonalities and similarities. And among these are that gun owners are normal. Lesson two was shooting is fun and challenging. And following from this, the second takeaway is to promote the actual act of shooting whenever possible. Create and take advantage of opportunities to introduce people to shooting. You don't have to be a credentialed instructor to do this. Get a gun in people's hands and give them a safe and fun experience. So here you can see a picture of my son with an exchange student uh, from Argentina that he hosted. Our trip to the range was certainly one of the highlights of his experiences in America. The other picture is of me with a Wake Forest University student who's shooting for the first time. For the past five years, I've taught a course called Sociology of Guns. At the start of every class, I take the entire class to the gun range. No one's required to shoot, but most do, including many students who have never fired a gun before. Although they're not magically converted into armed Americans, a goal that would be inappropriate for my academic course in any event, the experience of shooting has a profound effect on the students who have never shot before. They often experience the fun and excitement and challenge of shooting, and even when they don't, they have a direct experiential knowledge of why other people might. Finally, lesson three was gun culture 2.0 is inclusive. The associated takeaway is that we should embrace diversity and inclusivity in gun culture. Build bridges, not walls. As this sentiment makes clear, I didn't stop being a liberal professor just because I became an armed American. I became a card-carrying liberal snowflake gun owner. <laughs> The demographic present and future of America looks different than the historical core of American gun culture, and I would like to see gun culture represent that diversity. We should embrace inclusivity not for pragmatic purposes to ensure the survival of gun culture, however, but because we know that using guns is normal, we know that shooting is fun, and we know that self-defense is a universal concern. My own journey in gun culture is ongoing, both as an active participant and sociological observer, and I hope one day to finish my book on how a liberal professor can become an armed American as a way of explaining gun culture 2.0, both to those inside and outside the culture. In the meantime, I invite you to keep up with me on one of my blogs, gunculture2.0.com or guncurious.com. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook, or just shoot me an old-fashioned email. Thank you very much. <laughs>